Welcome back to the Corridor Jazz Virtual Concert. I'm Dennis Green, and up next, it's the City High School Jazz Ensemble. Now, like Liberty, we weren't able to go in person to record this band. They submitted their own recording, and I think you're really going to like it. So joining me now from City are Anna Cook. Thanks for having me. Nolan Vabakar. Hello. Happy to be here. And Rika Yahashiri. Hi, thanks for having me. And this time around, we have a very special guest, Diego Luria Evans. Hello, thanks for having me. Diego is not in the band, but he played a very important role in this year's Corridor Jazz Project because he designed the cover art. And our video audience is seeing the cover art right now, even as we look at it. So thank you for providing that critical aspect to our project, Diego. It's great to have you with us. Tell me what you were thinking about when you created this piece. What inspired you? Um, well, I was doing my geometry homework and there's a lot of shapes in it. So I had a ruler and those things. So I kind of did that to make like the triangles and hexagons and things like that. Tell me a little bit more about yourself. How long have you been drawing? Is it something you've always done? Uh, sometimes on the weekends, I like to draw, but like, yeah, I, I definitely like to draw, but I don't always have time for it. Well, Diego, it's a beautiful piece. Our judges just loved it. And I'm really glad that it's going to be the visual representation that we'll always have of this most unusual school year. Thanks again for joining us. Yep, you're welcome. So most of our KCCK listeners have met Anna and Nolan and Ricka before when they did our guest DJ hour. And as we get ready now, finally, to hear you play, Anna, we've had the opportunity at KCCK to get to see and hear you play outside of school a lot. You've been in the Corridor Combo, the Anna Cook and Vivian Shanley duo that performed at First Friday Jazz just a few weeks ago. What's the one thing you've learned about yourself from taking the stage often outside of the safe confines of the band room or the school auditorium? I think being able to be exposed to a lot of different settings when it comes to performing and doing stuff outside of school um, has helped me learn more about myself when it comes to, I guess, like dealing with things like nerves or dealing with anxiety when it comes to getting up and doing certain things like that. So when I was younger, I would get like really nervous before doing anything like that um, when it came to getting up, not just music, but like in school, having to do a presentation or like being interviewed for anything. Um, so I would get really nervous and like before performing, I'd have trouble eating and stuff like that or whatever. Um, but <laughs> being able, I guess, to perform and do stuff, it's made me learn more about myself and my confidence. And I haven't always been great at speaking in general. So it helps with a lot of different aspects like that. Well, you've got the interviewing thing nailed down perfectly because heck, I interview you practically on a weekly basis. <laughs> Thanks. Nolan, so your director, Mr. Otmar, is a City High alum. Does that ever come up in class? Does he ever talk about when he was a student or reminisce at all about his years at City? Um, yeah, he does talk about it sometimes, comes up now, now and then. Uh, he doesn't like to bring it up too much, um, but sometimes it'll come up. Like right now we're playing a piece that he actually played when he was a student, so he's talked about that. And he actually was able to show us a video of that was recorded of his jazz ensemble playing it. That was really fun to watch. But yeah, mostly he talks about, I mean, like how everything has changed so much. Cause even though it's, it's only been 10 years really since he was there, but it's been it's so much different uh, even then. Um, and he does like to, you know, hype us up a lot and say, oh, we're so much better than he was. And don't know how much of that is actually true or how much of that is just a band teacher, you know, being nice to the students, but it's, it's nice to hear. And it's fun to hear about, you know, how, how things were back in his day. Ricka, tell me something you'll always remember about Band at City High. Yeah, so Band at City High, really, you really get to know a lot of different people. And like from practicing and rehearsing three times a week to going to competitions together on the bus, staying up late, coming back home on the bus, you really get to know a lot of people. And you're really a family, and I really will remember that, that like family vibe of City High Bands. As I said, we didn't get to go to City to record the band, so I'm kind of watching this from the outside just like you. So here's a video that was recorded by Mr. Otmar and the rest of the band. 
Here's the City High Jazz Ensemble. Forming your scent. On KCCK's Corridor Jazz Concert. <laughs> 